There are many people who notice the difference between in the mirror and the picture. In fact, it is said that the image in the mirror is closer to the real face, but if you know why the picture doesn't come out well and how to get it closer to real face, wouldn't you be able to take a picture with a little more confidence? There are many reasons that someone is not photogenic, but in this video, I am going to talk about facial features. First, the shape of nose. If we simply express the nose as a 3D figure, it is a triangular pyramid composed of the bridge of the nose and the wall of the nose. In real life, the nose is recognized mainly on the bridge of the nose, but in the photo, the nose walls and the nostrils corresponding to the side are recognized as nose, so the nose appears wider than reality. For those with a clear boundary between the bridge of the nose and the nasal wall, those with a sharp and high nose, there is no significant change even if you take a photo. But such as Kim go -un with round nose, Ye Ri Han with a wide nose, Suzy with a thick nose, Ji Yi and Sung Jung Yi with a low nose have a flat face or a large nose in the photo because the boundary between the bridge and the nasal wall is not clear. The nose is the most protruding part of the face and it is the most important point to create a three-dimensional effect on the face. Then, it is important for people with this nose shape to pay attention to the shadow of the nasal wall when taking pictures. When it comes to shading on the bridge of the nose, it is recommended to shade the nasal wall thinly to be photogenic. Second, the size of the pupil. Which of the two eyes do you see more clearly? The side where the pupils are not covered by the eyelids as much as possible, and the side that shows the most looks better and clearer. In a photo, the more three-dimensional and clearer looks better. So people with eyes that can see the most of their pupils looks better. The reason why people who have single eyelids say they are not photogenic is because the pupils are in the shape of eyes that are often covered by the eyelids. For these people, it is important to check whether my eyes are the type with the upper part of pupil is covered or the lower part of the pupil. If the upper part is the type with the upper part covered, it is important to hold the eyelashes through a curler. If the lower part is hidden, it is better to emphasize egyosal. It is also a good idea to wear contact lenses to make your eyes look as clear as possible. In summary, those who do not have a clear boundary between the bridge of the nose and the walls of the nose, and those whose pupils are covered by the eyelids, are more beautiful in real life than in the photo.